What is the standard for ripoff, as you put it? And I'll, <laughs> and I'll give you one example because we all see the stories. There's a major company that has a name, but then there is a small company in Montana that has, sells women's clothing that may have the same name, which really, when you think about it, and practically speaking, bears no resemblance or relationship to the larger company, but we all see the stories of them filing suit saying their trademark has been, uh, has been uh, infringed. Well, you know, there's a whole body of trademark law. And so trademarks really go to the use of the mark. Um, you don't necessarily have to register a mark with the United States Patent and Trademark Office. However, if you are able to register the mark, you should, because the impact of that registration goes to 50 states all around the country, and you can enforce your rights in those 50 states. Our little shopkeeper or manufacturer out in Montana, for instance, who maybe has used a mark prior to the registration by the larger company in Montana. That company may be able to continue to use that mark in that very small jurisdiction, but they can't expand the use of that mark outside of that jurisdiction.